Uh, hi everyone welcome to for the geeks uh, in this video um, i will uh, explain you how you can actually export um, the passwords saved in your google account uh, to any um, standalone uh, password manager so i actually chose bitwarden uh, as my password manager standalone password manager and um, there is specific reason for me to select bitwarden in particular but it is just like i was googling around and i found it as one of the options so i just chose that just see um, you can choose anything of your choice uh, for years subscription i paid around 40 us dollars for bitwarden subscription and you get quite a few number of features with that which i will probably show you uh, but uh, to start with first things first i will show you how you can export the passwords from your google account so you'll have to click here and click on settings and that will take you to um, password manager here click on this um, that does bring up uh, the passwords so what you can do in here is click here and export passwords that will prompt you to enter your credentials so I will just give my fingerprint scanner here. It didn't work for the first time, but yeah, second time it did work. Um, so I used, like I said, bit of button and I did pay um, for this subscription, but I think there is a free version as well, which is um, equally good, I reckon. Um, and again, and, and there are uh, many other password managers like that. I think LastPass is one of them as well. Um, and again why i didn't use my browser as the password manager itself i personally felt that browsers are meant to make um uh, you know uh, goals uh, life easier for the users so maybe their primary goal is convenience i reckon and i personally thought it may take a security hit um you know when you store passwords on the um you know chrome or any other browser in that matter that's my personal point of view though uh, and other thing i felt was that all these browsers once someone gets access to it for instance for your laptop or something they can actually use the autofill feature and um, get into almost all the websites which i was not very really comfortable with um, when it comes to standalone password managers i guess what i liked about them was that obviously uh, to get into um, the password manager there is a master password and that is something which is which has to be very secure and um, obviously um, you can't retrieve it i guess so you will have to what i did is when i created my master password i wrote it down somewhere um, and i try to remember it but then once you have created a strong master password uh, then you can use the manager to generate the passwords and which can offer you maximum security so that was the reason for me to select standard password manager. So there, there is pricing in here, which you can check. Uh, so I went to the personal one. This is this free option. And then there are these options as well. So I have logged into my Bitwarden now and created an organization. So basically if you go in here and there are organizations which you create. So I just created one and um, within that you have manage tools and um, settings so um, settings does give you the subscription details and all those kind of things in here so it basically tells you you know how long the subscription is valid like any other website so in order to um, import the passwords uh, from the chrome csv file i just clicked on this select the format chrome csv and i chose the file where i had the data so so this is where my passwords were and then i just click on import data so basically it says that the data will be shared with the members of the organization so i just did yes so if you go back here you had Man you had under manage you had all the people so currently it's just me but if you want you can invite someone else and i think you can uh, give them a specific permission to do certain things so i imported the data and um go to tools and with 
paid subscription you can check for all these things otherwise if you use the free version you can only see that there is a button there upgrade and all these things um, are kind of disabled but now since i paid for it i can check whether uh, my passwords are exposed or across all my passwords if there is any reused password if there are any weak passwords if there are any unsecure websites so unsecure in the sense if it is just using http and you know if if i mean i might have to go and check the passwords there and make it much more stronger on those such websites and you can activate two-step login so you get a number of features with the paid subscription um so that is how i use bitfarten uh, so that's pretty much about it um if you have any questions do uh, drop it in the comment box below um and i will shortly, shortly try to respond to them uh thanks for watching bye bye take care